Hey guys, uh, here's a video explaining how to use uh, Pixlr. It, Pixlr is a is an online photo editing program. It's free, and this video assumes that you've already signed up, which I've covered in another video. So what you need to do first is go to Google Classroom, find our class, go to Classwork, scroll down to the Photo Editing with Pixlr unit, then find Project One on the Moon. Uh, you can go ahead and click on this link, and that will open up Pixlr Editor E in a new tab. And then if you click on this document right here, that'll open up this Google Doc in another tab. And these are the links that we are going to be using uh, in Pixlr today. So we're going to copy and paste each one of these into Pixlr separately, and I'm going to demonstrate how. So first, the background, the moon. I'm going to highlight. I'm going to copy. I'm going to go to Pixlr Editor. I'm going to select Load URL. Now, Load URL is when you want to load an image from the internet. Okay. If you click on Open Image, it's going to look for an image on your local computer. Okay. And these images are not on local your local computer. They're online. So we'll click Load URL. Then we'll right click and click Paste, and then click Load. And this is the image that we're going to be using as a background. Okay. Uh, so we'll repeat that process for the rest of these. So, copy, and for, we'll need to do file, uh, open image URL, and then same thing, paste. All right, and notice now we have two tabs open. This one is our first one, here's our second one. And we're gonna repeat that process until we have them all. File, open image URL, paste. Okay, and we're going to finish bringing these in. So we've got the first three. So let's go to back to the links. Copy, file, open image URL, paste. Go back. And last one. Okay, so we've got all the images loaded that we are going to be using. Now notice, some of them have this checkered background. That means that they're transparent. We're not gonna really have to do any editing, editing to those. They're good to go. Um, and those are called PNG files or PNGs. It's best to use those because it's less work. Not all of them have that though, so this one has it. This one does not have that, so um, we're going to go through the process of editing that. This one does not have it, so we'll go through the process of editing that. This one doesn't have it either, so we'll edit that. And this one is our background, so we don't need to do that. Okay, so first things first. Let's edit SpongeBob. So what we're going to do is come up and use this tool called the wand. So we're going to click on the wand, and then we're going to click in the white area. And then we're going to go up to select and choose invert selection. And get rid of this. And what that did was it's just selected SpongeBob, got rid of everything else. So once that's selected, we can come up to edit, copy, and then we're going to go to the layer that we want to put it on there, or the background that we want to create a layer on. We're going to go to Edit, and then Paste. It was just asking to use my clipboard. I said yes. So here's SpongeBob. Now I'm going to go to Select Tool, and I can move SpongeBob around. I can resize him, move him. I'm going to put him right here. Okay, so now we've got a layer. So if you look over here over layers, our background is the on the moon landing, and our first layer is SpongeBob. Now it's called some other name, but we know what it is. And if I click on this box right here, I can hide it if I want to. 
and then see it again if I want to. So that controls that. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do this for this next layer. Okay. So I'm going to use the wand. I'm going to click on the picture. I'm going to go to select, invert selection. And then I'm going to go to edit, copy. Then I'm going to go to my background. I'm going to go to edit and then paste. And it pasted Finn and Jake in here. Now, notice I've still got a little bit of um, uh, white in there, but that'll be easy to get rid of. So watch. If I go magic wand, click in the white area, and I can just hit delete on my keyboard, or I could, yeah, I'm going to do, I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard and get rid of that. I'm wondering if I go to edit. Uh, no, oh, I suppose I could do cut. That'll work too. So either hit delete on your keyboard or go to edit and cut. Okay, so do it one last time with this, edit, cut, and I'm going to go back to select so I can move this, and now I've got Finn and Jake, and I'm going to resize these guys, put them over here. Okay, so next, uh, I'm going to save Darth Vader for last. It's going to take a little bit more work. Now, the Millennium Falcon, this is even easier. I'm going to come up to the select of uh, the marquee select. I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to drag to select the whole thing. And then I'm going to say edit, copy. I'm going to go to the background and then I am going to go to edit, paste. And look, it just pasted the, uh, the image itself. No background, no editing necessary. All right. Now let's go and do the same thing with Steve here. So I'm going to select the marquee select. I'll select the whole thing, edit, copy, and then go to my background, edit, paste. And then there he is. And then I'm going to resize him a little bit. OK. So next, we've got Darth Vader. So this one, we can do the same thing. Uh, for most of it, but it's going to require some other uh, techniques as well. So I'm going to click on Darth Vader. I'm going to select, uh, for in this instance, I'm just going to actually hit delete and get rid of that, um, that background. Now notice it didn't do the whole thing. That's because it's not contiguous or continuous. Okay, it, it sort of gets cut off right up here. So let me do it over here as well. So uh, I'm just going to hit delete. All right, and we're left with um, just the bottom that we need to edit. Now, uh, we can scroll in on his feet, and there's a couple different things we can do, okay? We can go manual. So I'm going to go, I'm going to click on the eraser, okay? And I can just start erasing. Now, be careful make a mistake, you could always go up to edit, click undo, okay? But you want to you wanna edit out what doesn't belong. Now you can change your brush if you come up here, okay? You can change what it looks like, whether it's square, whether it's a circle, whether it has soft edges or hard edges, and you can change its size too, okay? I'll go to 20, come on down, and you can just edit out what doesn't belong. Now this is a little more tedious, a little more time consuming, and you want to release the mouse button frequently. Otherwise, if you make a mistake and you click undo, it undoes a whole bunch of stuff rather than just that one little mistake you made, okay? So let go of the mouse frequently. All right, so. down a little bit more. Now, um, we can still use the magic wand to a degree, some spots. You just got to be careful that you don't end up, end up deleting anything you don't want to delete. Like, watch, that selected the lightsaber. I don't want to do that. So, And that selected his foot, and I don't want to do that. 
So there's different things you can do. Like you can mess with the tolerance up here, 32 is what it's currently at. If you make it less, it'll select less of what you click on, what's around it, okay? But when you get down to the nitty gritty like this, you're really probably better off um, just using the eraser tool, okay? Um, let's see, I think something might still be selected, so I'm gonna go select and then deselect, and now it should let me erase again. But it's not, so let me come up and select a different brush. It did this to me before, I'm not really sure why it's doing that. Maybe it just takes a second for the program to catch up. Seems like maybe it does. Click on something else, go back to it, get rid of the commercial. There we go, now we have their tool back. So I guess sometimes there's a little bit of lag in there between selecting tools. So there's some tricks that you can do to make this easier, but honestly, there's just no substitute for going slow and being careful. Just want to get rid of anything that seems to really stand out. Okay. Now I could even make the uh, eraser a lot smaller and get into those some of those little nitty gritty areas. So watch, if I want to, I can zoom in a lot and then change the size of the eraser to something really small, one pixel, and then I can get in here and do <clears throat> some really small areas, but as you might imagine, that can end up being pretty time consuming. But if you want to do a really good job, you got to put the time in. So I'm just going to, and this is adjustable. So, all right. So scroll back out. So yeah, it's, that that can be pretty tedious. So it's it's kind of awesome when you can get uh, images that are already PNG files, and that way you don't need to spend a ton of time erasing stuff like this. And you can also creatively position images so that you don't have to erase everything. Because you could like I could have put Darth Vader standing in a spot where you didn't see his feet anyway, so I didn't have to spend all this time, but I figured it was worth it to show you how to do some of this stuff. Okay, so I'll, uh, well, let me just get this one little area right down there, and go slightly bigger. And there we go, and I think that will serve for what we're doing. Okay, so next. What I can do now is I could use the marquee tool and just grab, oh, let me get rid of this commercial. Marquee tool, just grab everything. And then edit, copy, go to the background, edit, paste. And then here he is. Now let's click on the select tool I'm going to find a corner so I can resize. Whoops. Resize that, resize that. And like I was saying earlier, if I wanted to position him in such a way where you wouldn't see his feet anyway, I could have made it look like he was like close and everything else was far away. But I wanted to be able to see his feet in this. So he's basically covering up the astronaut. So there we go. So we've combined number of images, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six. So five images, five layers on a background, okay? Now, when you're done with it, you're not gonna work, it on, work on it anymore and you wanna flatten the image, what you can do, go up to the top left-hand corner, we're going to click on Save uh, File, then Save. And then we're going to leave it as a JPEG there are different options. You can see JPEG, PNG, WebP, PXC. We're going to leave it as a JPEG, and we're going to leave it as an image as well. We're going to change the quality so that it's 100%, and then we're going to go ahead and click on Save As. 
Now, when we do that, a, uh, a window on our local compu computer comes up. Its location is the pictures folder. And this is where we're going to save it. Before we do so, we have to give it a name that makes sense. Let's call it on the moon. And then we're going to go ahead and click save. Now, to find that file on our computer, we go down to our taskbar, click on the folder, click on pictures, and you should see it right there. We double click on it, it opens it up, and now it's it's a it's an image that with just one layer. It flattened the layers. Those are no, no longer individual layers on there. Uh, and now you can use this picture in uh, other documents or other projects.